laboratory has has basically two uh, major functions that we perform. One is wildlife rescue and rehabilitation. So um, all native wildlife that is sick or injured or orphaned is brought to us for care. Our goal is always to work with those animals to rehabilitate them to get them back out in the wild. Um, our other core platform is education, which is used to um, sort of assist the rehabilitation side. And our goal with the education is to teach people how to coexist uh, with the animals in their own backyards, as well as how to protect the habitats that those animals live in. You know, when you're working for a nonprofit, everyone that's here, it, nobody here is working for the money. They're working for the passion and the love and the, the in personal investment that they have in the mission and what we do. So with that comes just a great amount of folks, um, both the staff and the volunteers that always go the extra mile. I mean, rarely does anybody not want to do the extra things that is needed for the job, including long hours and really hard conditions with you know a lot of compassion fatigue. There's, there's some really long days that um, don't always go as you, as you would want. And um, you know, there's, there's emotions involved and it, I, th I think it's a very supportive environment where everybody really tries to help each other through those days. So this is Harrison, he's one of our ambassadors and he actually was a falconer's bird that uh, came from the, I guess it was the Virginia area. So he has a partial wing amputation and he cannot fly. So the falconer was not interested in keeping him anymore and they turned him over to the Wildlife Center of Virginia. And there they uh, only keep native raptors, I guess, for education. So they were interested and we kind of adopted him. So we drove down and picked him up and had a little road trip back here. Uh, he was already glove trained and everything. So it was really just kind of tweaking some of his little behaviors and stuff. And we have a great bird. He's been with us for how long? 10 years? Before I came, and I've been here nine. Yeah. Um, we have about 100 volunteers on our roster and uh, the job roles vary a little bit. Some of them come in one day a week and they help clean and um, provide the dietary needs for the animals. Um, other ones are called transporters and those volunteers are able to go out and help Animal, help people capture animals that are um, need to come in that you know visually have signs of illness or injury but the folks aren't comfortable with capturing them or, or containing those and then we have volunteers that help with events and education um, we also have we also have a huge internship program where we um, help people that are interested in the field learn more about what we do nature's nursery is completely funded by donations and grants and various events and fundraisers so um, even, you know, five, five dollars a month donation reoccurring helps us a lot. Um, you know, other things they can do is provide in-kind donations such as, as supplies. Um, if they're not able to volunteer here on site, we have often projects that we need done out in the community. Or, um, you know, if it's not an ongoing thing that they're able to do, we have volunteer opportunities for, on a project basis where they can come in for a weekend and help out. Once you get into an organization like this, you really, it's, it's not... Um, it's not a job anymore. It's really a lifestyle. I, I, it's really hard to have that, have that area where you can shut off your, your job and go home because it's something that impacts your life even on a personal level. You go home and there's animals in your own yard that you find yourself looking at to see if they're safe or you find yourself on social media um, you know, offering assistance to a friend who has some circumstance taking place and you find yourself spending a weekend at a park and looking at, at nature and those habitats and things. So um, I don't say that with any sort of regret for my position, but it's definitely become more of a lifestyle than just a nine to five type job. I love that every day is a new opportunity to learn something. There is not a day that goes by that I'm not learning something new about um, either our donors and supporters, the people in our community who have an affinity for what we do or what we actually do here from the animal care side. With my background not being in animal care, it's just really mind-blowing what we are capable of doing for these animals to take care of them.